it's your girl a royal life and i'm back with another video so today i'm pretty much just showing you guys behind the scenes of making the losses now i do want to pinpoint that this is not a tutorial i know i'm so sorry so every step it is not included in this video this is just to show you guys how i sanitize and make sure that everything is bacteria free when i'm doing you guys lip glosses so so before i start anything i always clear my table and clean my table with clorox spray and a little bit of bleach to make sure everything is pitch perfect so it is super important to wash your hands before you actually put on your gloves. So that's what I'm pretty much doing in this clip, making sure everything is bacteria free, putting on my gloves so we can get straight into it, ladies. Let's get these glosses done, period. All right, so before I was using paper bowls and paper plates to actually make the glosses, um, that is when I had low orders, but now, thanks to you guys, you guys have been truly supportive. I have more glosses, so that means I need a bigger bowl that I could just store away. So whenever you guys order, I will have it in hand, you guys. Also wanted to show you guys that um, everything that a that I do use is vegan free, cruelty free. So in this clip, I'm just showing you guys vegan, all that good stuff. Just pretty much letting you guys know that this is safe. Cause a lot of you guys do ask me questions. So this video is pretty much just showing you guys show you guys how the cocoa flavor would look like in our tube it does have that coconut cream in there which is really really cool because once you put it on your lips I kid you not that this filling is amazing I have one on my own so I could testify to this and this coconut scent oh my gosh if anybody loves coconut you will love this lip gloss Alright, so I do buy my straws in bulk. I do buy my straws in bulk. Meaning, these are not used straws. These are brand new straws. Very, very sanitized. Bacteria free, as you can see. And I do know that there are other substitutions I could use rather than a straw. But in my opinion, I find a straw way way more easier just my opinion
So a lot of people been asking me, why do I put my glosses in water and dishwash soap? It is solely because after filling up all the tubes, it does get a little bit messy. So this is a technique that gloss makers use to remove all that residue and sticky gooey feel off the glosses so by the time it gets to you guys you guys don't have to deal with that mess So in this clip, I'm going to show you guys what my cleaning routine is after I finish fill and store you guys' glosses back where it belongs. I do the same routine in the beginning and the end just to ensure that all that residue that came from the lip gloss base it's completely eliminated because you guys lip gloss base get really really sticky for my gloss makers you guys know what I'm talking about so I'm just going back in and removing any 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 residue that is left because when it comes to that lip gloss base I am OCD you guys OCD I cannot <laughs> And that pretty much wraps up today's video. And cocoa flavor would be, well, yeah, it will be on the site by the time this video is out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you purchase yours today. The website will be down below in the description box. Thank you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Website link will be down below. And watch my previous video. I love you guys. I'm out.